morning folks, how are we doing? Now I was just going to do you a little video on, well it's basically the comparison between, I can get that on there, um, a prime mover um, of the 80s, i.e. this old girl, and a current middleweight prime mover, i.e. that T7210 there, which is brand new, uh, it's been rich Brother Richard, he's um, just bought that to replace the TM150. The TM150 had done, I don't know, 7,000 hours or something like that. Done a few hours anyway, and she was getting quite a few problems, so they decided to upgrade, and um, so they got a, basically it's exactly the same as his other prime mover, which is about three year old, or a year old, it's just see it over there. That's another T7210. It's a power command, so full power shift box. It's essentially the same tractor, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Anyway, I'll just come to fire the old Tito up, and you can see we've got a bit of a pool of oil. Now, I've identified, I reckon, to this uh, pipe here, which feeds the power steering. And, oh yeah, it's going to come off for a minute. We're going to have to take the pump off then. Um... Now, it has had a small leak sometime, but obviously it's got a bit worse. So I've just seen that where that's been rubbing on the edge there. I'm wondering if that's it. So we'll give this a good clean. And then we'll stick it back on. Fill it up with oil and see if we can see where the leak is. Because obviously it's been stood for a little while, but that's quite a leak it's had there. Uh, uh, Reservoir is empty. I don't know. It's not as deep as I originally thought when I first when it well when it was there. It looked a lot a bit deeper. But if we keep it on the outside, we should be able to hopefully see a bit easier. Won't be long now before we can get this whole game out doing a bit of work and check these new tyres out. You can see from there, loads of grip on them. Loads of grip, boys. Right, pipes back on. I'll fill her up with a bit of oil. We'll see if she starts. I should do. I'll be disappointed if she don't. Give it a little bit of heat. One thing she has got there is a bit of a stuck starter. The starter does stick sometimes, so we'll see. Like that. You hear that? There's something else I'm going to have to sort. Come on, girl. There you go, she does go. No worries. Let's see if we can see some oil dripping. Well, from what I can see, seems to be leaking out of the pump seal itself, it's not the pipes. So I'll have to get the pump on at some point. There's just a little, you won't be able to see it on the just a little weep under there every, every minute or so. I suppose it gets worse when it warms up, so. Well anyway, we'll get a Get them lined up and um, right, we'll get them lined up and we'll see the differences. I think it'd be quite interesting for I think it'd be quite interesting for those of you that don't drive tractors to see the um, see the difference between this TW25, which is 1984. And that T7210, which is obviously a 2018. Right, so we've got 34 years difference between this old 25 and that T7. So 34 years of progress. It's, uh, I mean, they look essentially the same sort of machine, didn't they? You've got a cab, an engine at the front, small wheels at the front, big wheels at the back. T7 has obviously got smoother bodywork, a more refined cab, but essentially, it's the same layout, isn't it? So, 
but the biggest difference is is the electronics I mean you can see in here we've got a, a cable operated and throttle um, as well as foot throttle um, all your controls for the PTO the linkage and even the gears everything is mechanical it's all levers as you can see so you got your up and down for your three-point hitch you got two spool valves there back and you've got floats in both of them you got um, your draft control there so up this end is your position that end is your draft control for when you're plowing there your flow rates for both of your spools that one there is the flow rate for uh, it's a drop rate for the three-point linkage and that one there is your PTO in and out so that is pretty much it you do get aircon obviously a heater windscreen wiper that's about it uh, you've got a full drive switch there you have actually got um, a power shift on it which is called the dual power on the um, on the TW which is on the foot mount foot on the floor there and that's it really pull to stop on this one fairly obviously so we're going to have a look at the T7 now Right, and as you can see, they're a pretty similar size looking machine. There's not a lot to lot to, to differentiate the size, really. Um, TW25 has got a 6.6 .6 litre Ford engine in it. Obviously not made anymore. Uh, they stopped production on these a long time ago. The New Holland, now that's part of the Fiat group, so it runs a Fiat powertrain engine in it or FPT for short it's a 6.7 litre unit I'm not 100% sure what the Euro emissions it is on but it's probably Euro 4 final I would have thought I think I think they're on the same wheel equipment as well these might be slightly wider than mine actually what are these they're 540s yeah mine are well, I should remember what they are mine are 420 so yeah they're wider wider tyres on them but like I say size wise there's not a lot to choose between them right so the horsepower output of the T-Dub is 156 horsepower out the factory you'll know she's doing more than that but um, and the T7 210 the 210 is slightly misleading on it 210 is the maximum horsepower of the engine uh, but it's gross horsepower is 165 horse so it's 165 horse tractor so let's have a look at the t7 i mean just quick from the outside you can see um she's got an led lighting package on her which is quite nice some good old spot lamps there isn't there There's some uh, good old spot lamps back ends we've got the spinner on the back at the minute but back ends haven't changed a lot obviously you've got a much better selection of spool valves on here you've got uh three pairs by the looks of it that's any more uh big free flow return there um but again it's not changed a lot and it's not that much heavier looking than the tw it is a, it is obviously heavier but not that much heavier um there's the spool outlets on the tw But uh, there's not a lot to choose between it, so. Alright, so let's get up and have a look. Other thing, obviously, with new tractors for the emissions, death had blue. It's quite annoyingly on most of the machines now, it takes up fuel tank space, so you get a smaller fuel tank. Um, um, you get so yeah, you get a smaller fuel tank basically, so you get smaller capacity. So anyway, first thing you notice about this over the TW is a lot nicer place to sit. Fairly obviously, got your passenger seat there, which is quite nice, very nice. Flip it down, somewhere to store a bit of paper over in your cup holders. Nice little tray there. Here's your spools. You got a set of spools on. The, well, whether they can can control them spools there but you've got a little joystick one there which obviously got a float float on it 
so I'm not sure about that. And a lot more in the way of electrics. So anyway, let's see what this FPT sounds like. Let's turn her over. Got nice air suspended seat. Look at that, that's, I haven't seen that before. We've got a, a power in and out for the uh, for the side arm, for the side, side winder it is I believe on these. Looks quite good. Get it where you want it. So you've got a throttle there. And you've got uh, all your forward and reverse here, your up and down your gears, your automatic button there, your auto steer which is not fitted to this at the minute up down your linkage headland management button and uh, spools again obviously here you go you've got your main screen telling you everything you need to know this um, like on the TW was all levers this is your, your, um, your depth control on the rear linkage and that is your position control and that's an up down for it as well so you can hold it like that and this controls all your four wheel drive your set revs all that sort of thing so that's your PTO there yeah very nice I think this has got it's got an engine brake that little lever, little pedal down there gives you engine braking. So. Yeah, nice tractor. Just thought I'd tee them up again. Right, so there you go. Two similar tractors, but different in so many other ways. 34 years between them. What would you take? Ta-ta!